Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Is Terrence Crawford putting duck sauce on the fried rice? That's the question I asked. And the reason I'm asking it because I'm having multiple people hit me up and tell me that they feel Terrence Crawford is afraid to fight Boots in us. And, and all I got to say to that is I've done enough videos about Terrence Crawford. He's moving up the ladder. He's not reversing. Okay? Simple. That'll be like Chuck Hadzian asking to fight Boots Ennis again. Why would Boots Ennis look at fighting him? That would be like Rocha calling for a Boots Ennis fight. And Boots Ennis looking at him saying, nah, I'm not fighting you. Why would he fight Rocha? You understand? Or how about Santian? He's undefeated. Why would he look at fighting Santian? You know what I'm saying? Uh, when, 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 when it comes to Boots, when it comes to Crawford, neither one of them are trying to move down the ladder. They're both trying to move up the ladder. So in this case, I don't think Terrence Crawford is putting duck sauce on the fried rice. Crawford is looking to get a couple of fights and retire. He's looking for big money. But I do think that window of opportunity is getting a little smaller. Now, one thing we do know that seems to be happening uh, is Crawford and Tim Zhu. They're trying their best to mask that. But let me tell you, that Crawford and Tim Zhu fight looked like it's going to be happen happening. Uh, the thing about Crawford and Earl Spence, you know, there's all this secret squirrel crap going on. Crawford's not saying that he's going to be fighting Spence. He's not saying he's not going to be fighting Spence. You know, you, you don't really know what's going on when it comes to Crawford and Spence and their, their rivalry. The one thing we do know is Crawford and Spence and what was supposed to be a 50-50 fight was very one-sided. Now, another thing I think that is fair to say is if Crawford was to fight Boots Ennis, it may not be so one-sided. Boots Ennis can fight, man. Boots can fight. Boots can scrap. Boots can Everything Crawford can do. Boots can do. Crawford has the experience, but but we, we it's hard for me to sit here and say Crawford just gets in there and tranquilizes Boots in us. I just can't say that. And even Crawford gives Boots his uh, his respect, and everybody does. There's 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 no secret that Jerron Boots in us can fight, but he and his dad are out here, man. And you know, I think they need to Boots in us and his pops needs to just do something else because. I just don't think they're going to get the Crawford fight. Simple. So I don't think it's fair to say Crawford is... Is he, is he avoiding the fight with Jerron Boots in us? Okay, yes, he's avoiding the fight. But but when, you, when you're looking to not fight Boots and fight Canelo, one, Boots doesn't bring the money Canelo brings. Okay, two... You telling me that Boots is a better fighter than Canelo? Y'all telling me y'all think Boots would beat Canelo? So, so what I'm saying is, it's one thing if Crawford was fighting someone that wasn't considered a former, or was trying to fight someone who wasn't considered a formidable opponent. Then I can understand that, but <clears throat> it's a win-win for Crawford if he can land a Canelo fight later this year. In addition to that, Crawford fighting Tim Zhu, which looks to be what could be next for him. Tim Zhu and Boots in us. <clears throat> I, I don't know if I would say Boots in us gets in the ring and he beats Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu has proven over the last year that he's the real deal. People, I don't see how a person can still sit here and not give Tim Zhu his credit. T Tim Zhu's the real deal. Does he beat Crawford? I don't know. Does Crawford beat him? You know, I don't know. But whoever Tim Zhu fights, you better believe that's going to be a good fight because Tim Zhu has confidence and he's coming in uh, in the ring to look to tranquilize whoever he fights. The other thing about it, when you talk about Crawford fighting Tim Zhu, again, Boots Ennis, he doesn't bring the money to the table that Tim Zhu brings because Tim Zhu has a whole country behind him. Okay? And it, it doesn't give Crawford that, the legacy that Crawford's looking for by bubbling up another weight division and picking up another piece of hardware. So I just, I just think when we talk about Crawford 
and we talk about Spence, and we talk about Boots, and, you know, Boots in this. We know he's a world champion now, but I can understand Boots having that itch to get the ring with Crawford because he feels that the way he went, the way he, he, he attained the belt, that's not how he wanted. So he wants to prove to everyone that he's not just a paper champion, an email champion. He actually wants to fight Terrence Crawford and beat him. That way uh, people know, people are aware that he deserved the, the title. You know what I'm saying? But although it wasn't the way he wanted to win his first title, man, you know, when you're out here boxing, you got to just, hey, if something falls in your lap like that, you got to take it. That title mean that it, that title equates to money. That's what it equates to. That title equates to money. So so Boots Innes is like as someone was suggesting that well, why don't he just turn the belt down? Come on now, let's not be let's not take it to the stupid. He's not gonna turn the belt down. That title equates to big money for Boots Innes. Okay? But him and his pops just need to chill out because I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand why they're still kind of chasing behind Terrence Crawford in a fight that they're not going to get. Bootson is chasing behind Crawford. It's like Crawford chasing behind Mayweather when May, when, before Mayweather retired. It's like Thurman chasing behind Mayweather before Mayweather retired. It's like Earl Spence possibly trying to get a fight with Mayweather before Mayweather retired. You understand? It's It's over. Them days, they're not going to sit there and go in there with a, a young, hungry lion unless, you know, the deal is so sweet that they'd be stupid not to take it. So, that being said, for people who are saying Terrence Crawford putting duck sauce on the fried rice, how? That's, that's my question. How is Crawford out here ducking fighters? And, and, and if you feel he should fight Boots Sinners, you leave it in the comment and tell me, tell me why. And you let all the other fans out here and the subscribers, let them chime in. Because I don't, there's no one out here who's made a, made a good enough argument, in my opinion, on why Terrence Crawford should fight Jerron Ennis. Now, don't get me wrong. I would love to see that fight. Stylistically, I think they match up very well. But as far as what Crawford should fight Boots in this, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I, I don't, I, I can't, I can't tell a person with, with, with confidence and be comfortable uh, why Crawford should fight Boots in this. The money ain't there. What's Crawford going to do? Pick up a title he already had? You understand? Um, as far as getting Boots in this on his resume. I mean, people are still going to say, you know, B B Boots is kind of inexperienced. Well, who has Boots in his fought? All those wins Boots in his has. All those wins, all those knockouts, but who'd he fight? So Crawford's not going to get any, any credit for fighting him. But don't get me wrong, Boots in this just needs an opportunity. I, I, and it's sad to see a guy with that much talent, you know, just out here, and nobody seems to be jumping trying to fight him, but we'll see what happens in the next few months, but, you know, I hate to see, I hate seeing guys like Boots Innes, who are young, all that potential, and just sitting there being inactive. you got to do, go to Austrian Trot route, and just fight anyone they put in front of you. You see, these people can learn from, I've done videos talking about Austin Trout. When Austin Trout was fighting, that man was fighting everybody, everybody. Yeah, he was looking and trying to get a little bit of money, but he didn't care. He was staying active. Austin Trout was extremely active. But now everybody out here want to sit back, man, and not fight. And I don't know what the hell the deal is, but I'd say by March or April, things should start bubbling up a little bit more because it, as far as fights in the States, it's come to a standstill. It's horrible what's going on here in the States. But anyway, y'all keep cool. It's cold, man. I'm about to go, uh, even though it's cold, I'm about to go exercise. I think I'm going to go walk for like an hour and a half, then go lift weights. Then I'm, a, I got, I'm going to this job fair on the 24th. That's right, hood champion, maybe going back to work. I got some things that I want to do. And YouTube, it's cool. And I'll keep, I'll keep up this YouTube shit because I enjoy it. But there is, ain't no money in this. I got 7,000 subscribers. I can't get 
7,000 subscribers and just give me a dollar. If I can get everybody to give me one dollar a month, I'd be straight. You can't even get them to give you 25 cents. But it is what it is. That being said, y'all keep cool. Terrence Crawford's not putting duck sauce on the fried rice. He's just moving up the ladder, just like Jerron Ennis is trying to do. And neither one of them want to reverse. So why would Terrence Crawford reverse in the breeze?